use cases where a backnet router can be utilized for several control networking, building automation, and building management scenarios to save time and installation costs. Use case number one, how to connect a slower MSTP device. Backnet MSTP has the following baud rates available, 9,600, 19,200, 38,400, and 76,800. Even though most BACnet MSTP devices run at 38,400 baud, integrators often have to connect their devices that run at slower speeds, such as 9,600 or 19,200. As a facilities manager, I have a BACnet MSTP device that does not have a baud rate that I want to run my BACnet MSTP network at, and I can't find a substitute product. The field server BACnet router has two RS-485 ports and each port can be set up with a different baud rate, one connected to low-speed MSTP devices and the other connected to higher-speed MSTP devices, such as those using 38,400 baud. Once those two MSTP ports are set up and the BACnet router is connected to the BACnet MSTP network, the configuration is complete. When the BACnet MSTP controller sends out a who is command, all BACnet objects will be found and the MSTP network can be configured even though there are disparate MSTP baud rate devices behind the BACnet router. Use case number two, how to connect remote MSTP trunks. Some large facilities may have multiple buildings, each with many BACnet MSTP devices. As a facilities manager, I have BACnet MSTP devices in two groups far from each other and the cost of RS-485 cabling and trucking is going to be expensive. Another alternative is to use an IP network to connect the different MSTP-based network segments, but that typically requires adding BACnet IP-based controllers to each segment, also very expensive. By installing and configuring a BACnet router from BACnet MSTP to BACnet IP, and a second router back-to-back -back from BACnet IP to BACnet MSTP, I can get the BACnet MSTP network up and running very quickly, keeping my installation and commissioning costs as low as possible. The IP protocol runs over the LAN, or local area network, or WAN, the wide area network, depending on the physical locations of the buildings. Use case number three, how to connect 64 devices to my network. Facilities use BACnet routers to connect BACnet MSTP devices to an IP phone. Large facilities often have a large number of MSTP devices and therefore have to deploy multiple BACnet routers because typical routers usually have a single serial port that connects only up to 32 MSTP devices. As a facilities manager, I have 64 BACnet MSTP devices that I want to cost-effectively connect to my BACnet IP network. The field server BACnet router has two RS-485 serial ports, therefore, a single field server BACnet router can connect 64 devices instead of 32. In a large network, this is a cost-effective approach as it can reduce the number of required routers by a factor of two. In addition, a two-port router has performance advantages over a single-port router. For example, even if there are 20 devices to be connected, each of the two ports can take 10 devices versus the alternative of all 20 devices on one port. This doubles the responsiveness of each connected device. Use case number four, how to connect legacy ethernet devices. Even though most devices or controllers that ship today support BACnet MSTP and or BACnet IP, many buildings have older devices and controllers based on BACnet ethernet that are still functioning and providing value. As a facilities manager, I have legacy BACnet ethernet controllers that I want to connect to my BACnet IP network but I don't want to and cannot replace them due to costs. BACnet Ethernet does not support BBMD, or BACnet Broadcast Management Device, a key building block of a modern multi-site management framework. The field server BACnet router can connect legacy BACnet Ethernet devices and controllers to the modern BACnet IP backbone. Supporting BBMD, the router acts as a proxy for the legacy BACnet Ethernet devices. Once I have configured the BACnet router, I will have full transparency of my BACnet Ethernet devices on my BACnet IP network. Use case number five, how to manage a multi-trunk MSTP network. 
There are instances where backnet MSTB devices are in different buildings behind firewalls. As a facilities manager, I would need to manage all MSTP devices as one unified network from one front end system without compromising network security. By using the field server backnet router on each backnet MSTP network, I can connect different clusters of backnet MSTP devices to my backnet IP network for transparency by my backnet IP controller. The backnet MSTP devices could be behind firewalls or IP routers. This is not a problem because the BACnet router supports BBMD, which makes the BACnet MSTP devices visible to the BACnet IP controller on the other side of firewalls or IP routers. It also allows for connection between different subnets. To successfully validate that all devices have been connected to the field server BACnet router, there is a unique feature called Device Find. Device Find enables all devices connected to the BACnet router to be seen through the diagnostics page built into the BACnet router. Once all the BACnet devices connected to the BACnet router have been seen, the list of connected devices can be exported via a CSV file, which can be kept as verification that all devices have been commissioned to the BACnet router. To learn more about our field server BACnet router, please visit www.sierramonitor.com.